what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to talk about the original plans that um, were intended for jeepers creepers 2 a film that was released almost two decades ago now uh it's been almost 20 years can't believe it's been almost that long since jeepers creepers 2 was released in theaters way back in uh 2003 now, as we all know in Jeepers Creepers 2, it picks up a few days after the first film. Uh, we follow the Creeper who is terrorizing a group of high school championship basketball players and they are on their way back home from their big game and they are terrorized by the Creeper. And then on on the side of that, we have a, a farmer who is hunting down this uh, monster to take out and get some revenge for the fact that the monster killed his son in the opening of the film. Uh, now, Jack Taggart's role, Jack Taggart's character, apparently the original idea or the original plan was for Gina Phillips to be in that role. Now, I don't know how exactly Jeepers Creepers 2 would have opened, but originally Victor Salva had written in a, a subplot featuring Trisha and Giselle from the first film teaming up. We, we would essentially be picking up with those two ladies and they would be hunting the creeper and they were going to be the focus and the bus was going to be the, the subplot now i don't really think that what i think ended up happening was either two things gina phillips decided that that role wasn't substantial enough because i think what happened was that victor salva he wanted to focus as he was writing that he wanted to focus more on the on the idea of the creeper terrorizing the bus Jeepers Creepers 2 was going to be about Trisha and Giselle hunting the monster, but what exactly was the story going to be there? What what interesting story were we, were we going to see there? I believe what Victor ended up deciding in his head was that audiences would want to see the Creeper doing what he does best, and that's terrorizing um, a group of people or two two individuals on the highway. Uh, so if it, if, it, if it is what we were going to get, it sounds like we would have gotten a more toned down film if they had gone with uh trisha and giselle just hunting the creeper and then the creepers terrorizing of the bus being the subplot that would have been it would have been a reverse of what we ac actually got so we would have take take the actual jeepers creepers suit that we got essentially if victor was going to do it the way he originally had planned let's say we take that same exact film that we already have the final product but we spend more time with the taggarts that's going to be a completely different film versus if we're spending more time with the actual people being terrorized i feel like that's where victor had a discrepancy in his mind and he realized that that wasn't really going to be something that would keep audiences interested because what were these what were we going to watch the taggarts do the whole movie just drive around and come across carcasses and all this other stuff maybe maybe find details that go into the creepers origins who knows but at the same time can we see the creeper in action i think i feel like that's going to be the primary thing that was going to rub audiences the wrong way uh but yes originally trisha and giselle were going to be uh hunting the creeper in jeepers creepers 2 they were going to be the focal point and then the bus was going to be a subplot what happened was victor salva decided that he wanted to focus primarily on the bus and create that side that side subplot being uh, the people hunting them and I believe Gina Phillips ended up dropping out or saying she did not want to return because she had she had a, she had a presence guaranteed in the second film originally. Uh, but she dropped out of the project or she did. She opted out of it just because of the fact that Trisha didn't have a substantial role in this outing. So then that, of course, led to the inevitable Jeepers Creepers Cathedral script being written where she would be full front face and center. The main character again, she's getting vengeance on her brother. It's taking place 23 years later. Uh, I think that was just kind of like, I feel like that's kind of where the cathedral script inspiration came for. Coming up with something substantial for, for Trisha uh, to get Gina back into the project. I feel like Victor really wanted her to be a part of the second film. And this was his way of trying to get her into the third film that we actually never ended up getting, unfortunately. Uh, but those were the original plans for Jeepers Creepers 2 was going to have Giselle and Trisha uh in the film and the bus was going to be the subplot let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe or turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram if you haven't already make sure you go ahead and just give this video a thumbs up uh and then again subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'm gonna have links to all my social media accounts um uh, and down in the comment section i'm gonna have a link to the facebook group if you haven't already just join that group so you can discuss anything horror related and get some updates on jeepers creepers with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video